Hi, uh, I'm Oz, uh, expert sleepers here at Superbooth 2019. Um, I have a couple of things that are newish, I guess. The first of which is this module here, which is the Little Mikey. This is a microphone instrument preamp module. It's got a uh, Jack XLR combi jack thing there, um, up to 60 dB of gain. The usual things you expect from a preamp, a high impedance switch, a Jack XLR switch, and the crucial 48 volt phantom power that you need for a condenser mic or a uh, transducer like I have here on my saxophone, which I don't propose to get and play for you just now. Um, but what I have it plugged into is here, which is a little contact mic on my kalimba. Which I've got running through the little Mikey, being amplified into the uh, Disting Mark IV, being a big delay, and then into the Disting Mark IV being a reverb. So that's what you hear there. So just giving you lots of nice clean gain on a on the concert mic there. It's getting really loud. So that's it, the little Mikey shipping now. Uh, just recently started shipping. Other stuff I think everybody knows about, with the possible exception of this I did recently. Um, this is VCV Rack, which is the popular um, free of cost, open source, virtual modular synthesizer. Um, I've made some expert sleepers plug-in modules for this, um, replicating some of the functionality of uh, the Silent Way plugins, which I've done, uh, well, uh, more or less since Expert Sleep has started, really. So this gives you some of the functionality that Silent Way has given you as regards integrating, integrating hardware and software through audio interfaces. Uh, so it, here I'm using my ES8 module, which is a USB audio interface. Pops up is this interface module in rack. So you've got the inputs and outputs here, which basically means you've got this completely flexible two-directional di two um, patching ability between a virtual modular and a physical modular. Um, this uh, virtual plug-in here is a version of the Silent Way voice controller. It does the oscillator calibration that Silent Way has always offered. So if you want to play stuff that's actually in tune, you give it an audio signal uh, so it can hear what it's doing, press calibration, it draws this little graph, and then you can sequence stuff uh, in the software and it'll play your um, physical oscillators like so. Uh, so and just to give you an idea of the bi-directionality of this, this uh, virtual sequencer in rack is being clocked through the ES8 from a clock output from the modular. So we've got clock from the modular into the ES8, out of there, clocking the sequencer, CVs back through here, back out of the ES8, controlling the physical modules. Um, so that's there. I've done some free ones that uh, expose the functionality of the ES5 and the other expanders and some costly ones which are doing the silent way stuff. That's all available now from the VCV Rack store. And um, I think that's it for me for this year. Uh, Everything continues to be updated. Disting Mark IV has been updated recently. Uh, just, is this working? I don't know. I've got the vocoder. That's, uh, I've recently improved that algorithm, constantly tinkering with that, tinkering with the FH2 making sure it's compatible with everything you can throw at it. Uh, the latest edition I've got here is my Sansel Morph with the Book of the Thunder over, under, overlay. Um, not actually plugged in right now, but that's a kind of an MPE control surface uh, that's officially licensed from the Bookler design. Through USB into the FH2, you can control modules through control voltage from that. Um, and other stuff as and when I think of it. Uh, yeah, I think I'm out of words. Thanks for listening, cheers.